Wait a second, I'm gonna show you a game right here. This is this is how you increase your range. This is a great way to do it. Uh, so what you do is you get yourself a marker, like two things look. See these? Distinguishable. So I'll start off. Uh, start off right here. Okay. So it's down. That's my marker. See where I hit that now? I take this and I set it here where it's at so I know my distance. So what you do is you keep aiming behind and as you hit farther, you increase the mark on either end. Since I didn't hit there, the mark stays. This is a perfect way to really test out your range skills. This is what I call is, get, is honing. This is what I call honing your long range pimping. When I refer to long range pimping, it means the ability to either see people from afar, communicate from afar, and it's also medium and long range, you know what I'm saying, projectile action. So it's a, it's a, Long range pimping has multiple uh, meanings to it. Long range pimping is also this getting on the internet and rubbing elbows with, uh, you know, uh, famous speakers basically as well. It's your ability to communicate long range. But, you know, long range pimping. Because you know how pimps, you could see a pimp from afar, man, by his, how he's dressed. You know what I'm saying? Or by his, his uh, lady connection. I mean, but, you know, likewise, you know, the best pimps actually don't look like pimps. They're actually politicians. And TV preachers. There's more than one. There's more than one kind of pimpery. You know what I'm saying? You might as well, you know. Smart to not, you know, not think that you know it all at any point <laughs> in time. See, and uh, and likewise, also difficulty increases by. The, the how light by the the weight of the weapon man I, lighter things are harder to make go far you know what i'm saying that's why this is a real light short stick i actually learned this from the crippled avengers and it was the blind guy leaves would fall and he would he'd try to hit him so you know i learned a lot of these uh ghetto skills that i got man from kung fu movies See, that was that Tai Chi method. It's when you go long round. You know, this, that, this is that straight no spin, but this is the sling method. But this, the long range round, is more a Tai Chi of a motion. See, that one right there was a sling. Yeah, sometimes with the lighter, the lighter uh, of a you know instrument that you have, also sometimes they'll hit air pockets. I mean, I, that's the best way I can describe it, and 
it starts to float instead of follow the the nose instead of the nose goes like this and it kind of catches wind and even forces it backwards which can throw off your shot a lot No, it's kind of like that effect of, uh, you know how you can throw a baseball sometimes and they can actually make it curve or make it fall. Same principle works sometimes with throwing. Uh, you can just get a weird spin and it, it'll, it'll send it in a weird direction. I mean, plus you got to think, just because you can't see that, listen, air pressure, and air density changes from spot to spot, even down here. It does up in the sky. It does down here, too. So you never know those things you can't see and the effect they could have. But, I mean, if you got, like, a sword, it's going to probably fly through the same way every time. But I'm only speaking on lighter objects, even the small square shuriken-styled uh, things. Because especially when you throw them, they'll spin and, and they'll arc. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's, it's tricky. You know, uh, it, you can see this, what I'm speaking of, in Frisbees, when you throw a Frisbee the wrong way, especially disc golf, and also in card throwing. If you throw cards, you'll, a card will catch a certain wind, and it'll just, and it'll totally fizzle out. So, like I said, when you're, I mean, really, I'm a, I'm a thrower, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's one of my niches in the martial arts. You know, in my kung fu skilled practice. So, you know, uh, you can learn you can learn things from watching a person throw a football. You can learn things from, like a thrower. When you operate as a thrower, like uh, you know, like a ninja. You know what I'm saying? It, it's almost like you're a pitcher, because you're standing there, in the middle, and everything around you, you're looking at it. You know what I'm saying? And you're deciding where you're gonna send whatever whatever your thing is. You know what I'm saying? You could. You could also flip this, like say there was a guy up there on that roof and he needed me to throw things up here from down here to him up there because it's easier to throw it than it is to carry it directly to him. You can get it done quicker. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I just noticed. It's like basically you're on the pitcher's mound if it, once you operate in that. You know, like say that someone said, I want to challenge you to a duel. You know what I'm saying? Uh that's all hypothetical, though. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I really don't expect to have a duel with no one, uh, literally. But uh, you, you can't think about it, though, and put yourself in that position. If You know, just read some old uh, knights. They used to meet up out in fields on horses and have fights. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just sometimes for the sake of honor or showing who who has the superior skill. It doesn't always mean it has to end in death. It's just basically... Uh, it's a showdown between, you know, two guys, man, I guess basically got that itch to prove their ability. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, I, I like to read the historical uh, battle chronicles. Uh, they're awesome. I mean, they're entertaining. And, it, you know, I like historical things to me. That's entertaining. That's exciting. You know, this stuff they show me on TV, it's all, I mean, it's, it's cool. It's a visual dazzling. But, I mean, it, it, it's, it's almost like de calories, man. You know, like empty calories. That's what it's like. It's, it's empty calories, man. And some of the knowledge is just trivial. You know what I'm saying? And, or non-important. You know what I'm saying? Some knowledge is, you know, and the, those are those areas they like to get people wedged and boxed inside of. Whatever your area is. They, oh, okay, you're ancient aliens. Well, they'll keep you trapped inside the pyramids. You know what I'm saying? For instance, uh, you know. You're a new ager. Well, they got you on that wheel of karma. You know what I'm saying? They keep you trapped inside of a certain, in between two pillars, man. Always, man. I mean, that's their whole schematic. You know what I'm saying? It's like we mold people in between these two pillars. Anything outside of it, that's who we're against. You know what I'm saying? So these are all, these are reoccurring themes, man, because it's an ancient, it's an ancient struggle, man, between, I guess, the forces of evil and the forces of good. And I don't think it's, uh, you know, I, it's not supposed to end till it's supposed to end, I guess. So we're just along for the ride. But anyway, I hope uh, this is informational and helps 
people pursue, uh, you know, uh, kung fu and knowledge and understanding history.